There's example code, there's API, there's a quick index. So let's see the example code. So example code, the example code here starts out simple and gets more complex. The example code progresses through these um, topics, um, how to call a function. So drawing primitives. And let's see how they organize their example code. <laughs> this example shows how to use the draw commands module. It is a good place to start for new programmers because they do not need to know how to define functions or classes before drawing images. Okay, let's see if PyCharm, PyCharm is still updating. So it looks like there is a 10 minute video that explains how to do it. And this is the code that was provided. So I've been using JavaScript lately and um, I've been programming in Java. But the first language that I learned was Python. But that was over a year ago. So while a lot of this does look familiar, it is uh, something that I'm hoping that going through this project will refresh my memory. So if you have any questions about how the um, program works or how the different uh, syntax is organized, feel free to ask in chat. So it looks like PyCharm is opening back up. It's on my other monitor it displayed. So hopefully I can pull that over and we can look at it together. My window management is not the best. I am sorry. I'm unprofessional. <laughs> so I'm hoping what I can do whenever PyCharm does get opened up is to copy in this code and be able to render something. Again, I'm new to PyCharm, so I'm not sure if I will be successful or not, but it's something that I can explore. So it's updating right now. Let's put that at the bottom. Okay. So it looks like this is just the first almost hello world to this program. Um, it's about making games, so one of the things that you're going to need in games is the images to represent the main character, to represent the objects in the background, and so um, this is how to draw different shapes in Python. Installations require a lot of waiting. And I am definitely not a comedian, so Please uh, bear with me and have patience. And hopefully you can see everything. I can't tell whether or not everything is showing up in the screen. It looks, it looks kind of cut off, which is confusing to me a little bit. So... Well, maybe, huh. well, it can see there. I'm kind of playing around with the window size and trying to figure out where where its cutoff point is. So I think that's the bottom of my window. So 
So we're just updating PyCharm now. There should be a link to the Python Arcade in um, the below the video for anybody that would like to um, learn more and download the project. I'm not sure why the Python 3.5 that I had installed um, previously is uh, showing up as 3.5. Hopefully I can still access the project as needed. Do you have any questions? Adrenaline 681? Looks like PyCharm is opening back up. Maybe. <laughs> Please wait. Your patience is greatly appreciated. So this is another website that seems to be the front-facing um, description of it. Before it had been um, the Read the Docs. <coughs> I saw this presentation at PyCon um, Education Summit. They were talking about um, different ways to try and make um, learning, specifically um, programming, um, accessible to students. And the creator of this had been using, um, I think, Kivi and um, Pygames previously to um, help university students um, learn how to do Python programming. And I, I don't have a lot of experience with that. Um, I'm hoping that I have similar experience to the students so that I can learn whether or not this new um, tool that he has built is going to be helpful in helping the students learn. So create a new project. It looks like I can full screen it maybe or no, it just wants to be small. Okay. Can I make the window a different size? No. Okay, this is really weird. This is really tiny compared to my monitor. Okay. Maybe it's just the start of screen. Sorry, I'm moving around making it sick. So, I think this is probably pure Python. Um, I also, huh. So it's asking me, it's asking me to find or make a new, I'm, I'm getting confused. Okay. So I have lots of Python installed. We found it before that 3.5 was installed and 3.4 was installed. And now, like, there's an interpreter. Uh, why is 2 showing up? Okay, I'm getting a little confused. So let's try and make it with Python 3.5. Let's hope that that does something. And I clicked the create button and okay, it opened it in my second window here. Can I make this one full screen? Yes, I can make this one full screen so it's not as tiny. <laughs> so, I'm not going to read any tips yet. Oh, this reminds me of other things I've seen. I've seen this when I've tried to use Eclipse, which is required by my instructors. Okay, so. There's an untitled project. I normally right click and then I can make a new class or Python file. Um, well, we wanted to do the polygon example, saying polygon. And it's going to make it a Python file. And this is actually quite 
pick. I don't need that much space. So let's see if we can make it take up only part of the screen. So let's take his example code. And let's copy it and see if just copy pasta will work. Um, don't share now. Okay, so I copied in his code. It should make things. It should make like a uh, different shapes. So I have Arcade installed. We installed it with the um, Windows command. So hopefully it should work, but I, I I don't know if it's in the same folder. Normally when you're importing it, like they're in the same file structure. So like um, it's, it's saved in the PyCharm projects because I just downloaded PyCharm. So let's hit run. Nope, that's not an option. Oh, oh, it's untitled. Why is it untitled? But I, okay. Well, save didn't do anything. Oh, the whole folder structure is untitled. Interesting. So uh, this is, I guess, the name of a project? Hmm. How do I rename it? Okay, well maybe if I click on this file I can run it. Nope! Okay. And I hit a stumbling block. <laughs> ah. So uh, maybe I just need to be patient and stop clicking on things? It says down at the bottom that there are two processes running. Oh, that's right. I made it a specific size because that's what the window can see. Okay. Oh. Hopefully now you can see things. So I tried to hit run. Ah oh, ha! Now it will work. Maybe. Let's hope. Okay, I want to run Polygon. It's creating. Whoa. Okay then. So I need to figure out where Arcade installed at in order to be in successful. So maybe it installed directly into my file structure because that was where I was at whenever I was telling it to install. So let's see. I have it up on my other window. Um, so I told it to go to the users to the um, folder for the name of my computer and so maybe that is where it installed at so I think it would be in hmm, PyCharm projects untitled Okay, so PyCharm product projects is there. There's also something um, I don't see anything for arcade though. So it doesn't say where it downloaded 